guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. Got my coffee and my cup of cheer mug. I know it's a Christmas mug, but coffee is always a cup of cheer to me. And I got a little bit of friend mail and I thought I would share it with you real quick. Um, this is from Santina in Florida. And thank you so much. Let's get it open and oh, it's the coffee collection in Chapstick. I'm an addict, coffee and Chapstick. And this comes with vanilla latte, caramel macchiato and mint mocha. I am saving this mint mocha 100% for Christmas time. I love it. Thank you so much. I appreciate you thinking of me. Oh, I can't wait to break into those because you know, coffee. Coffee. Okay, we're gonna get started. No particular order. We found some fun things. Not a lot, but I found some fun things. Um, first up, gotta get our thumbnail. I found these craft kits. So this one makes a uh, rainbow and it comes with your different colors that you need to make this craft project. It should have everything in here. Um, it comes with one cotton rope, three colored cords. So I think everything is in here. You may need a needle or something, but we got this kit. And this macrame kit, which comes with two wood beads, a wooden dowel, and the macrame cord. And you can make a tiny little macrame kit. How fun are these? I have not found the macrame string yet at my store. Um, I did pick up one of these four by four frames and I've already actually used one. I had grabbed two. Um, I got one with the black and I made uh, you'll see it when I do my cross stitchy crafty thing, I think on Friday, what I used it for, but I grabbed a secondary one. These are great just to have on hand. Oh, and I got two of these, um, with my bank. We will be walking in the pride parade here in Columbus. We do our bank sponsors a float and we all support our fellow employees and so it's going to be hot because it's in the middle of summer so i grabbed a couple of these fans i'm not sure if they're out for pride or not but for a dollar 25 they came in handy i did see one at um the same flag except for instead of white this was gold glitter and it was like five dollars somewhere so these were good uh good price i got one for myself and for my co-worker so when we walk, we won't be overly heated because it's fun, right? Right. Um, if you saw Monday's DIY, I picked up 10 or 11 of these bandanas. I think 11 because I used 10 in the DIY. So I have one extra. Um, and these are great. I'm going to tell you these are 100% cotton. Are they the best quality? No. But did they do exactly what I needed? Yes. So that is perfection. So I have one extra to do a little something something with. Who knows? I have my receipt for my fetch rewards. Link is always in the description. And the same with Ibotta. If you're wanting to get more money back, I would go with Ibotta or oh, fetch too. But Ibotta pays out faster, if that makes sense. Now for my cousin... She's got a couple littles, and I know she'll be homeschooling. And these are the Eric Carlisle. Um, Eric Carl, I'm sorry, like the Hungry Caterpillar. And this is a coloring book, but it's the alphabet. And I thought Levi would really enjoy doing this. This is a little workbook. And they also had numbers. So we got numbers and letters. And I just love these. And you're just coloring and little activities and you know, mom will sit down with him and they can do things in these little activity books. And I thought they were adorable. Um, these are Greenbrier brands. So everybody should be able to find these at your Dollar Tree if you have somebody with a little, I think these are pre-K if I had to guess. Could be kindergarten, like early kindergarten, but 
nice little workbooks. So I will pass these on to Amanda for her little guy. And then I found these and I grabbed two. They're the same thing, different covers. And one is gonna go in the giveaway for my Pelotonia bike ride. Um, I'm gonna make a bag and I'm gonna fill it with stuff. And this is gonna go in there. So I'll show you, I'll keep this one. And it just says, let your light shine. And this is by Crown Jewels brand, which is also made here in Ohio. Hi, Alex. Hi, buddy. Yes, I know. Yeah, you go over there. Thank you. Uh-huh, go lay down. Good job. It's a like a fitness tracker. So you have your goals. And I thought this was so appropriate. So you have your month. Your month of goals goes in here. And then on this page, it's measurements and a weight tracker, a meal tracker, a fit tracker. I'm just like, this is amazing to me. I haven't really spent a lot of time looking at it, but you get one month page. Maybe you get more than one. Uh, two. So it repeats three. So I think these are worth our six months. One, if I had to guess, two, three, I just want to find out. Yeah, four, five, six. So you would need two if you were going to do the entire year. So each one of these is six months, which I don't think is terrible. And you get your goals for each month, a weight tracker, a meal tracker, a fitness tracker, a grocery list, and then your next month. And they're not dated, which is great. So if you wanted to do an entire year, you would just purchase two of these. And still, that is relatively inexpensive for a tracker. So this one, and if I see another one, I'll pick it up for the giveaway for my Pelotonia. If you're wondering what the heck I'm talking about, um, I ride in a bicycle ride every year and I have to raise money for cancer research through the James Hospital and I'm currently raising money right now. Thank you to all that have donated. And anybody from my channel that sends in a donation, any amount, it doesn't matter, you're all gonna go into a hat and I'm gonna pull a winner and I'm gonna send a prize out to you. And for the first five people that donated way back in March, I finally mailed out your cards. I'm just a little behind, so. Sorry, but it's on its way. Okay, I also found, and I was, I bought, I bought this, ugh, I bought this for um, my patriotic wreath that I already put up, and I didn't end up using this fabric, but I will use it. It's great lining fabric for bags and stuff, and heck, this might even end up inside of the bag. But I just grabbed two fat quarters of that. I found these guys. These are the candy dishes, but the tiny ones. So these come in a two pack. They do sit like this and you can put candy in them. Um, if you wanted to do an advent calendar for your littles, you could totally get 12 packages. That would give you 24 and you could put little prizes or candy in here, a million things. Put it on a coffee bar, put some sweetener sugar in here but these are just your little and what i i'm gonna open it up but what i do also for craft room storage buttons would be fantastic in here and i think they sell buttons in a jar like this but it does sit at the angle like this but what i like is the lid is um screw on opposed to just sitting on so it's a little more secure if you could you put your little beads in here or anything like that if you have a little shelf in your craft room this would be perfect for craft storage which is probably where mine is going to end up in here with some little bits and bobs in it because we need those things in our life right i'm not sure why everything is ending up on my desk when i have a bag right next to me for all of this super excited okay and also I picked up one of these. Now, I didn't end up using it, but I wanna show you something. I was going to use 
this frame. And thank you, Jan, for bringing this to work. I didn't end up using it for this project, but I will use it. And if you wanted to, this uh, terrarium tray fills exactly in the center of this and you can make, you can glue it in there and make a center of any wreath. And you could go either direction. If you wanted to go this way, um, you could and have it indented and you could fill this with like flowers or whatever, or you could have it, um, you could have it go this way and it just makes a cover for the center and you could cover this with whatever. So I grabbed it because I thought that is ingenious if I don't say so myself. So I have that. Also, I picked up one more strand of these beads. I'm not finding the big long strands at my store. We don't have them, but this will be fine. Um, I like the little anchors on here. I'm, I'm not. I don't decorate my house nautical theme, but I do enjoy the anchors and some beads and just putting them around. And this also will look really cute in a summer tiered tray. So I grabbed one more string of the beads just to have um, because I like the square beads. Oh, I scratched myself. I was making a making my bed the other day. All right, we're going to open these up so I can show them to you individually. But this is a two pack of drink cups. I think these are going to be good to take on a picnic. So they have a sipper lid. So you don't need a straw. It's like a sippy cup, like a coffee cup. And look at them, are they adorable? These are all the popsicles. And I just feel like, so I have a picnic coming up and I'm gonna be making a beverage for myself. And I could just bring this cup, put an ice, some ice in it. And then the lid won't pop off. I don't think this would be good for hot drinks. It's definitely for cold. Um, it doesn't say, but I'm, it just, oh, it does say caution hot. Mm, I'm not sure I would put a hot drink in here. It's not very thick plastic. I think it's just mimicking like a Starbucks cup or something. But I think these are adorable and they have them in multiple different patterns on the cup, but I like the popsicles. And quite frankly, I mean, I'll reuse these. I could take this to the pool with me too. Like bring a thermos of cold beverage and then just drink out of this and keep the rest of the cold beverage in. And you get two for $1.25. So I think that is fantastic. I don't have a whole lot more, unfortunately. It's been, it's been kind of slow, but I feel like my store's getting some stuff. Um, I did grab this, the 2X t-shirt. This is all style. Um, I didn't see any pools or anything. I love these for summer to sleep in. Just a nice summer pajama with a pair of shorts to wear around the house at night and then I sleep in them. And so for a dollar for a night shirt, I'll buy it. I also got a tank top like a sleeveless shirt for the summer, just to sleep in. I wear these with some cotton shorts around the house in the evening. Um, I live alone for sure, but um, I like my windows open. Like I don't have a lot of window coverings downstairs and therefore people can see me. So I try to stay dressed. We all appreciate it. Um, I also grabbed these bandanas. I was thinking I would use these, but this is more of a polyester and less of a cotton. I think they would work fine on a wreath. Um, it's just a different vibe than what I was going with. And these are 20 by 20. And if you wanted to do the wreath that I'm doing, you get two for a dollar. So you could possibly do the exact same wreath for $5 if you didn't mind the two different colors of blue or whatever pastels. But isn't that so pretty? I really wish these were, I don't know, maybe it is cotton? No, it's polyester. And the problem I have with bandanas that are polyester, I use them when I ride my bike to like, you know, wipe my sweat and stuff and polyester doesn't do it. But these will get used. 
probably when I pack my picnic lunch, I can use these in my um, thing, in my cooler. So my picnic is downtown Columbus. It's at Picnic with the Pops. I think it's on July 9th. And they're having, so every summer they do a Saturday night concert and I think Friday night for the little kids and then Saturday night is for more adults. And you go down to the Columbus Common and so you can pay like $30 or $40 for a lawn ticket and you bring your own chairs, your blankets, you can roll, people roll in with wagons, you can bring food, alcohol, beverage, whatever, just follow the rules and you have picnic on the lawn. And then the other section they have is um, up front, closer to where the orchestra is, and they have tables you can rent, so you don't have to sit in the grass. And my, um, my friend rented a table, so I bought a ticket, and we're going to all sit up on a table, and it's Fleetwood Mac tribute, so they're going to sing songs of Fleetwood Mac. So the plan is for us to go down there, so I have to bring... Now they'll all share food, but for me, I don't, I can't because of my diet. So I'll just bring my own picnic, which is fine. So I need, I can throw those in my cooler and you know, wrap things up or whatever. Okay, more summery goodness. Look at this, it's red, white, and blue plaid. I'm dying guys, I am literally dying here. I love plaid and I'm loving this red, white, and blue. Now I got two. I'm going to use these in my dining room, but these are the ones that have the lining in the back. And if you wanted to, you could make um, a couch pillow out of these. This would be the lumbar shape of pillows, and they're really cute. I'm not, I'm not going to do that because I'm going to use these, and I may end up like stitching them together or taking like a white ribbon and stitching them like long ways if I can match up the the pattern because you know I got to match up my patterns which I think I can yes so what I will do is stitch them this way long ways and make a little mini table runner out of these with and I will just stitch um a white I think I have white or I have red or I have navy blue I'll use navy blue I can stitch a wide navy blue ribbon to the center just to break up the plaid a little bit and then i will have this on my dining room table and i have the matching navy blue brogaine and if i want to make it a little wider i can also box it in with ribbon but i probably won't i most likely will just run one piece of ribbon and then trim it and melt the end so it doesn't fray so nothing too dramatic but I think this will be adorable on my on my dining room table for you know Memorial Weekend and things of that nature. Mm. One more bag, and that's it. So this is a fast one. Like I said, I haven't been finding a lot of great great stuff, and that's okay. Um, I did get some baking soda. Fun fact: this is sixty nine cents, which I think is pretty cheap at the Dollar Tree. I put it in the kitty litter on the bottom of the kitty litter pan um, when I change it. So I needed, I got two boxes of that. Uh, I needed a fresh shower loofah. So I grabbed, oh, this is a nice one. Oh, it's a men's, okay. I mean, it doesn't matter to me, but I'll show you why I say it's a nice one. Look at the, the grip is rubber and it's stretchy. So like you can, Put your hand in there and when I hang it up I hang it in my shower so that it airs out but this is a nice big fluffy plump one which is my favorite because it gets lots of suds for the shower so I'll put that in my shower I threw my old one away um, I did find Kodak batteries name brand and these are triple a which go in my remote to my um, TVs and I needed a couple. So I got two. Um, oh, there's baking soda. I grabbed one more of these. Um, I'm making, so I'm going to another stitch retreat in 
September, October. So it's September 30th, October 1st, local here to me in Columbus. We're going to Berlin, which is an Amish country, but the, the store that's putting it on is Cross My Heart. Um, which is my cr local cross stitching store even though it's like a half hour away but it's the closest one to me and i'm going to make a pin cushion and i want to use this as the base because let's be honest it's done for me and i think that's just easier so i grabbed one more to use as the base for my pin cushion and then oh guys baking soda everywhere i grabbed this notebook do i need a notebook no but can you look on here it's a corgi with a crown uh, and for the Jubilee, thank you. And then on the pages, there's a little light crown. You can't really see it too good, but there's a little crown in there. And again, this is crown jewels and I needed this a lot in my life. So actually I think I'll take this to work with me tonight because I ran out of notebooks in my backpack. So that my friends is everything that I picked up today or the other day for the Dollar Tree. I'm hoping, like I said, that they get some more things in stock and I can have some more DIYs to bring you. I've just been kind of busy with my, my day life, you know, but things are gonna slow down at my part-time job and things will pick up around here. So I will show you when I finish this, this weekend probably, I will put the blue ribbon on it and then I would like to redo my tear tray so I can maybe show you how I do my tear tray uh, for summer. Because right now it's spring, but I'm gonna get it up for summer. All right, everybody. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will talk with you later.